Shira was supposed to be buried kwa nguka yake. Mahali mamake, mahali mama ya Shira amezikwa, hapo ndiyo Shira angezikwa. Ndio tusianze kuuza hizo masori tena hapo shosho amerent. So sasa siko shosho. Waelewe hivyo amerent hapa. Okay? So Shira was supposed to be buried where the mother is buried. But the grandfather wamejiondoa na mambo ya chira they don't want wamesema they don't have they don't want to do anything with chira barrio arrangements or or anything they don't want so so show me back peke yake the reason is the show show and the, the reasons well known by them eh? we don't want to speak about the reasons they are family issues so we, we are not close to across in that line so the father the grandfather uh, who is named after uh, chira who, uh, who is named after chira chira men name after your grandfather arikata alitumiwa ankos zake akatumiwa akatumiwa wazee wa kijiji akatumiwa watu wote wakuja akakata so this boy have suffered because two weeks ago alikuwa ameenda mpaka kuomba hiyo grandfather msamaha grandfather kakata so i think kama venye niliwaambia asubuhi this is not time to fight here on tiktok this is not time to raise hands and shout to people you never did this why are you doing this you cannot do this they are doing this bla 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 this is not the time this is the time to shame the devil to let people know that there's a bigger family even without the bloodline okay um so that is the only thing about you what was ulizana maswali mbona chira amepelekwa hapo so shosho akaamua wame change wali change mali shosho alitoka we will get we will get about we'll get about to know right now atuambia whether it's that cemetery ama ni kwenye shosho alitoka Ongoja kidogo ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jackson254 tv karibuni sana alright ladies and gentlemen uh, kama kawaida guys hizi ni update za Brian Chira tuko hapa hivi ku analyze yaliyojiri kwa sababu my friend it is not easy it is not easy guys sasa hivi baba talisha ile muzigo wako nayo wacha nikuambie yeye ndio naodha wa hii train ya mazishi ya Brian Chira na a lot has been said a lot has been happening my friend kwa social media kumewaka moto lakini hayo yote my friend tutaweka kando nataka tu kwanza tuweze kuanalyze story ya uh, baba Talisha na safari yake ya michango na maandalizi ya mazishi so jana ikiwa on Wednesday ladies and gentlemen baba Talisha akiandamana na kina MC Chris watu wengi sana watu wengi sana ladies and gentlemen waliweza kwenda moja kwa moja hadi Gidhunguri kwa boma ambayo shosho amekomboa ama kwa boma ambayo eh, ina host hii mambo ya maombolezi ya Brian Chira lakini sasa ile kitu ambayo imefanyika hapa ladies and gentlemen imeweza kushtua dunia muzima kwa sababu baba Talisha sasa hivi shosho ya chira ameadapt huyu mtoto amemwambia sasa kutoka leo wewe ni kama kijana yangu sasa sasa wewe jua una wazazi hapa sasa ndio kwenyu jua sasa ya kwamba hata kama una mzazi wewe sasa jua wewe ni mtoto wangu kwa sababu you been there for me since day one hata wakati ya wako wanaongea na chira Huyu jamaa alikuwa bado anapigia shosho simu akikosa kitu my friend akiwa amelala njaa anamtumia ile kitu kidogo wako nayo. So ladies and gentlemen sasa hivi Brian Chira amekataliwa amekataliwa na babu babu yake. Babu ambaye alikuwa ameoa shosho ya Chira amekataa Brian Chira akasema ya kwamba huyu mtoto awezi akataka maneno yake na awezi akataka hata familia ya kina babu Chira 
wamesema wasihusishwe na mazishi ya Brian Chira wamemkata kabisa kabisa wamemreject kabisa wamesema huyo kijana alikuwa shoga na hawawezi wakahusiana na ushoga nini nini hii kitu inanifanya nione kana kwamba huyu babu hata ni kama walitengananga na shosho ya chira so shosho ya chira amekuwa kishi kando kwa sababu ya huyu Brian Chira na tabia zake. Sijui ni kwa nini hata siwezi elewa ni nini kinaendelea kwa sababu huyu guka wa Chira ako kando na shosho ya Chira ako kando. Unaona? So walienda kumbeg akubali mtoto azikwe lakini alikataa. So ile kitu inanishangaza hapa ni kwamba na pia vile vile maono yangu naona huenda ikawa huyu Brian Chira ni mtoto wa na mama labda mama yake alimzanga huko nje na baba yake akamkataa akakuja kwa boma na akakataliwa na babu yake unaona hiyo ndio kitu ambayo inanishangaza kwa sababu mzee ameonyesha uh, heshima mbaya sana kwa wazee kwa sababu huyu mzee anasema ya kwamba yeye ametroliwa na marafiki zake huyu mzee anadharauliwa kwa sababu ya tabia za chira huyu chira alimwaibisha wakati wanasemanga biblia inasema wewe kijana wakati unafanya maneno mazuri ama mtoto anapofanya maneno mazuri ni sifa zinaendea baba lakini wakati mtoto anafanya mambo mbaya ni aibu inaendea mama so mzee kulingana na vile ambavyo um, kauli yake ana fulfill maandiko yaliyoandika kwenye kitabu cha biblia so amekataa na hata kwa yoloji watu wa kina mzee hata kwa hiyo yoloji wa countywe out kabisa so hii matanga mwenye nambaye ana Uh, control matanga ni baba Talisha wakina MC Chris of which watu wengi sana wamewaambia ni aje msijale we are with you we are with you on this journey kuna jama tajiri sana mwenye amekuwa kigift watu ma lion kiongozi wa magifters hapa TikTok anaitwa King Rosso King Rosso my friend ameweza kutuma pesa nyingi sana ameweza kutuma pesa nyingi sana 850000 pesa na ambayo itaweza kusimamia kila kitu vya kula nini kwa hiyo boma nini nini kumbuka KRG alikuwa ameshalipa has nini uh, manini pesa ya jeneza ya bill ya mochari hiyo yote KRG alikuwa amesimamia so pesa ya budget ya vyakula kwa hiyo boma maji nini kila kitu hiyo ni pesa imetolewa na King Rosso oh my god mwambie hawa family ya TikTok asante sana kabisa e, Mungu ambariki sana e. Mm. So eh uh, wale wenye walikuwa wanasema wasikiki huyo she had to talk to Shosho in that dialect ndio yeah. aelewe vitu gani wanasema sawa sawa kabisa yeah. so, acha niongee Kiswahili at least yeah. Kila she, kila she, yeah. okay so i'm here on behalf of King Rosso yeah. and uh, i'm here to deliver the message and to fulfill the promise that he promised this morning As I, he said earlier he will cater for the whole budget of the Mario the 850000 and I have already deposited the money I sent the money to my mom and the money was deposited in Shoshos account sent by Patricia all the receipts he has the receipt with him so the money is in the bank to cater for the burial and as king rosso said that let all other contribution that will be contributed let it be towards the building of a home for shosho yashira yeah so the uh, promise is fulfilled and it is delivered home we are grateful to god we thank god for king rosso we thank god even for chiras the time we came to know him that period We thank God for everything and we believe that everything is going to work well up to the end. Yeah. So, uh, I've confirmed the receipts. I I mean to mail the receipts zote and uh, I've been able to ametumanisha mbili 550 50 and uh, 300. Uh, let me let me just uh, go through them. Let me see, let me see. Niza potea kidogo, acha nipotee kidogo alafu nikuje. Sawa sawa. Okay, sawa. Eh, let me refresh, okay? So 250. Yeah. 1550k, okay? Okay. So you have the one for 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 250, the one for equity? Yeah. We have the one for equity 250 and 50. 
Yeah. And then you have the 550 combined that comes to 850,000 Kenya shillings. Yeah. Yes. That was the promise. Thank you. Yeah. So we will appreciate uh, thank you so much guys. We didn't know, yeah. Tukianda ilikuwa ni kama sijui ni seme nini ya So I really appreciate guys and continue to support on the pay bill Let me, the pay bill already it's up And we are doing good, okay We are doing good And may God bless each and every hand that inatoa Babati alikuwa busy ya Babati alikuwa busy ya Babati Oh my goodness. What's up? Where? My dog. Where? Hey, 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 hey. Where? This is me watching the comeback tomorrow. Now, also, after that, I agree. Mimi Mimi ro, Mimi nishaipata na wakati tulikuwa tunacheza na nini huko na Rosso mm. wakati wa birthday ya president Nyako wakati tulikuwa tunacheza nini hata even afterwards me I have never been gifted by Rosso Yawai I've never and this is my first time to be gifted by Rosso hata hand heart wow hata hand heart Yawai na <coughs> Safiri Sarama, thank you so much, my big brother. Thank you so much. Unifanya, unifanya tulia watu ingi sana behind the camera. And you are one of the persons that utaijua venye mungu watakupigania all the time. Because everything that you do, you do it from your heart. And so many other people outside here, they are looking forward for for such blessings and i i know we learn by process na huyu jamaa mc chris amekuja kamtoa uh, pay bill baada ya baba talisha kujaza kwa jina ya show show amekuja na akasema ya kwamba hii ni pay bill ya mchango wa kutengenezea show show nyumba na chris chris um, ama zaidi ukipenda mc chris kirubi amesema ya kwamba budget yake ile pesa yanaomba wa kenya wa changi kwa hiyo pay bill anataka tu milioni ngapi anataka milioni ni mbili na nusu oh my god at least wafikisha ile idadi yenye baba mona alifikishi wangwa wakati wa matanga yake unaona wa Kenya wamekuwa kituma wengine wanatuma 100 wengine wanatuma 200 wengine wanatuma 50 wengine wanatuma 20 bob my friend jana jioni wakiwa kwa hiyo uh, reception pale hivyo nyumbani walikuwa wamefikisha elfu mia moja lakini as we speak right now ladies and gentlemen sasa hivi ni kiangalia katika kitabu changu hapa hivi cha mchango kinaonyesha ya kwamba sasa hivi by jioni my friend ilikuwa imefika pay bill sasa hivi ilikuwa imefikisha one million two hundred and twenty eight nine hundred and ten hizo ndio elfu na ambazo zilikuwa kwa hizo milioni moja elfu miambili na shirina nane na mia tisa na kumi unaona so tunaendelea bizuni na bado mazishi ya Brian Chira itakuwa on Tuesday next week tare 26 my friend mufike mapema mufike mapema uyu babatalisha amesema ya kwamba transport ni nyinyi mnajisimamia lakini chakula nini kila kitu na maji hiyo mtapewa lakini transport mujipange pale hivyo usijali kuja mapema kutakuwa na mabasi zitakuja pale watu watakuwa naingia wanalipia kwa mlango kwenda na kurudi so mtapelekwa so mapema ndio best watu wafike mapema pale alafu pia kuna kitu moja nimeona pia hapa kwa mtandao uh, baba talisha amesema kwamba kuna watu wangependa kuviu mwili amesema waende tu na akifika wakifika pale atapigiwa simu na wataongea na atapeana go ahead mwili tolewe kwa fridge waone lakini kama mngependa one of uh, sunday ama one of monday Sorry, yani like Sunday ama Monday before sasa 
kwa ziki on Tuesday mnaweza panga kwa sababu kuna WhatsApp group ambayo imetengenezwa WhatsApp group ambayo nitakuwa na iada hapa hivi hiyo WhatsApp group my friend kutakuwa na mipangilio jinsi na ambavyo watu wanaweza kutana Uh, pale kinyata mochari ama zaidi kinyata funeral home uh, watu wakuja wakiwa wengi uh, wakuja wa view mwidi na pia after that kukuwe na ile candle nini unajua ile mambo ya candling ile lightening ile ya, ya kumuomboleza mwenzao ama kumpatia risala za mwisho mwisho ile uh, you know even ndio alikuwa na suggest that is kama itawezekana unaona lakini so far so good tunachukuru Mwenyezi Mungu ya kwamba baba Talisha amefanya hii kitu imekuwa so smooth tumeshukuru sana wakina Peter Kyoi mmeenda pale watu wamekuwa pale wengi ma, ma tiktokers wamekuwa pale wengi sana unaona so hii kitu iko sawa na tunaendelea vizuri eh, isipokuwa tu baba ama abu ya chira ameweza kukosea sana kuweza ku, kumkataa mtoto na ili hali mtoto ni innocent huyu mtoto my friend kumbuka alirepiwa na kijana ambao walimnunulia pombe akalewa na wakafanya na tabia mbaya mpaka kijana akapata ugonjwa huyu kijana alienda karipoti na akapewa dawa za kutumia isipokuwa akuzitumia vile ilifaa na akapata ugonjwa na sasa labda kwa kukata tamaa kaona sasa uredi hata ashaharibiwa so kijana naye akaonelea tu kwa joga Unaona hizi ni vitu zina happen lakini mtoto ni mtoto. Huyu mtoto hakuanza kujiuza mwenyewe. Huyu mtoto alisoma sana. In fact kama kuna watoto chocho anasema Brian Chira zikwe na gown kwa sababu he was one of the cleverest child. Anasema kijana alipata A. Imagine alipata A. So you can imagine. Huyu ni mtoto ambaye alikuwa focused kwa masomo. Isipokuwa tu nilo kijana mwenye alijinyonganga ule mwenye alimnajisi ule ndio alimwaribia maisha so guka alikuwa nafaa kuunderstand ya kwamba hakujipeleka mwenyewe kwa kutaka kwake unaona ni vitu ambazo wazike kuwa avoided na hata labda huyu kijana labda angepiga nduru hiyo siku alikuwa ananajisiwa na vijana wa university huenda ikawa hata labda wangemuua hizi ni vitu zimefanyika kumbuka hata uh, Jeff Mwathi my friend na ile story ya DJ Fat so inasemekana ya kwamba alikuwa Sodom na kwa hiyo nyumba na wale vijana na uenda ikawa aliwatrete na lilia sana ndio kwa maana wakaona he huyu kijana venye anaongea anaweza tuletea shida ndio kwa maana hata wakaamua kumuua who knows labda brandichira labda wakati huo pia angepiga kelele labda angeuliwa lakini sasa jua linyamaza ndio kwa maana amekuwa kiishi ndio maana mlikuja mkajua hata mtu kwa jina i am brian chira my name is brian chira so brian chira alipokuwa duniani ameteswa sana huyu kijana wacha nikwambia ameteswa sana wacha hata apumzike guys nilikuwa nasema hata mambo ya ma, ma investigation ziendelee lakini nimesema tu wacha tu kijana aende juu my friend it is not easy it is not easy huyu kijana amepitia mengi sana huyu kijana my friend hata wakati alishikwa my friend alikuwa anapigia hata tiziana anamwambia ni aje kwa nakuru ana mwambia ingie kwa nyumba amkuletee madawa zake za kumeza huyu jamaa mnaena king tizian huyu anasema my friend amemtengeneza ukijana amemtoa from the grass nilisikia hiyo show pale hivyo uh, akifanya show na huyu jamaa kwa jina uh, presenter ali for those people who haven't watched the the, 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 the interview with 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 the nini with the brian chira muende muone what happened between you two no mimi spendwa wa rafiki wa nini Mm -hmm. No I called Tizi and asking him to get me my HIV medication when I was in prison. Mm -hmm. He did not even pick up my phone. Mm -hmm. He did literally never even picked up my phone. I called like 10 friends. Morira is the one who got me. Kwanza Morira alipigia simu manzi wa Meru. Manzi wa Meru ndo alitumia fee 1000 ya kutoka Nakuru mpaka 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 Nairobi akakuja pia kukureceive uh, kuniletea dawa why where was i calling tizian i knew tizian was in nakuru anasema my friend alitorokwa na marafiki zake alikuwa anaumia alikuwa anaugua magonjwa anatamani dawa lakini the only person mwenye alikama up my friend akaenda akachukua zile dawa na akamletea ni huyu manzi wa Mombasa huyu mwanamke mnono mweupe huyu huyu mwanamke wacha nikwambie she has been there for Brian Chira hajawahi muacha siku hata moja no matter what no matter how alikuwa na yeye hapa kwa hapa unaona na hata sasa hivi bado hakosi bado kwa matanga tumeona mashoga wengi sana wamekuja pale hivyo wengi sana wamekuja kutembea kwa boma nini nini wale na ambao ni watu ambao wamejikubali 
So it is like that life ni hivyo isipokuwa wazazi pia sisi tuweze kuongea na huyu mubabu. Huyu babu ajue kwamba kuna siku atasimama mbele ya Mwenyezi Mungu na ataweza kujibu mashtaka. Hii mambo ya kujifanya ati oh mila za kikuyu sijui mila za nini. My friend waje nikwambie angalia sana mtanzania zenye mtoto alipata nazo huyu ugonjwa. Angalia sana mtanzania huyu mtoto my friend alikuwa mlevi na mtu yote mwenye ambaye ni mlevi na nishoga lazima tu abiebe venye huyu jamaa alikuwa na bief. Na unajua huyu jamaa alikuwa na survive na hizi video zenye alikuwa anafanya kwa mtandao. The mona make scandal the mo pia anapata watu wengi kwa guest yake. Na unajua kupitia guest una watu walikuwa na sympathy. Imagine wacha nikwambie watu walikuwa na gift Brian Chira. Brian Chira alikuwa anafanya kazi lakini alikuwa nakula na alikuwa analipa nyumba. Hizo pesa alikuwa anatoa wapi? Wale watu wenye walikuwa na mgift my friend. Hebu imagine akina nani. Mimi sijai mgift lakini kuna watu walikuwa na mgift. Ni akina nani hao? Ni watu wenye wako na roho nzuri na walikuwa na feel huyu kijana. So kama E, wazazi wake wamemkataa kama babu yake amemkataa watu wa close wamemkataa what about the other people what about the other people so please thank you so much guys i hope umeweza kusikia hivyo ndivyo kuko na kama kawaida mmesikia paybill imeweza kuwekwa pale for those people na ambao hamjaelewa venye kunaenda my friend paybill imeweza kuwekwa pale na hiyo paybill uh, unaenda tu pale hiyo account number unaandika jina Brian alafu unaenda paybill unaweka uh, jina ama unaweka number 80 uh, 5 6 uh, 605 unaona na unatuma na itakuwa imefika. Kidogo kidogo ujaza kibaba. Kumbuka thousands of people wakituma hata 10 20 50 bob 100 itajaza kibaba my friend. Usitume mapesa zako mingi uone hawa watu wanakumaliza. Huyu shosho my friend by the time uh, matanga inaisha watakuwa watamjengea nyumba na mutaona. Mutaona. Umoja ni nguvu utengamano ni udhaifu my friend. Let me tell you bro, it is not easy. So thank you so much guys. Uh, please leave a comment there. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like. Nitakuwa nawaletea habari tu pindi zinapojiri. Thank you so much and God bless you. Bye bye.